Hey, what's up, my dolls? Welcome back to Nicole Force. As you guys can see from down in the title today, I'm just doing a quick little video on how I curl my wig. And I was getting ready anyways, so I figured to just film it for you guys if anybody was wondering how I did my hair. So, um, in the previous video, the mukbang of Panda Express, I was telling you guys that I have a smaller barrel wand curler, but I picked up a new one at TJ Maxx, and this is what the box looks like. This is the thickness of the wand, and this is the name of it. Now, it is 32 millimeters wide, and it was only $16. Pretty cheap for a good curling wand, for sure. Um, I really like TJ Maxx. I probably should have went there first and just picked up that curling wand and a new straightener because, like I said, I lost them or something happened to them in Milwaukee. I have no idea. My mom unpacked my bags um, just willingly. I was like, thank you, but I don't know where you put my things. She doesn't remember, so they're just missing somewhere. I have no idea where. Uh, so basically, yeah, I had to just buy a new one and I ran to CVS real quick because that was the closest store around. Um, one day when I was getting ready for a video. So anyways, I have the curling wand right here and it's just heating up. And it did come with a glove, a heat protectant glove, but I'm not going to use it because I've been doing this for years. And I think I'm pretty good that I don't burn myself. Well, I know I'm pretty good because I don't burn myself. But let's just say if you were starting out to wand curl your hair, um, it is very useful because when I first started, I was like burning my fingers and it was just a lot. Basically, when I first bought my first wand, I know I'm talking a lot, but I'm just going to tell you this real quick. <laughs> um, they gave me a little glove that was like only halfway right here and it just covered my fingers. Mm, it was really cheap. But anyways, I'm going to get into this video. So basically what I do, um, it is a little bit curled already, but I'm just trying to like refresh and define the curls. So I kind of just brush it out. I'm going to be looking right here to the side of me because there the mirror is right here. I'm doing this in my bathroom. So kind of just brush it out and I grab about this much of hair. These are like my bangs. Um, that I have this really blonde piece right here in the front that I like to stick out when I'm curling my hair. So you just grab it like this and I curl away from my face like so. Kind of just let it sit on there for a little bit. Um, I kind of just guess how long. Um, really depends on if you want your curls to be really tight or really loose. So I kind of just, you know, I don't know, maybe count to 100 or something. I don't literally do that, but just to guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, so kind of just go like this and then let it down. And that is the first curl. And then you kind of just keep doing that throughout the whole head of hair. Now, the first two I usually curl away from my face and then I start going, you know, um, going in with one curl and then out and then just keep repeating that process. So this one, you would curl away from your face. Let me know if you guys are liking this video. I will probably just speed up the process. You don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing. Um, but if you do, I can show you how I crimp my hair as well in a different video. And then the makeup video from Sephora will be coming out as well. I'm just kind of waiting for my face to clear up. It's not doing that great right now, so... 
I would rather do it with better clear skin. So yeah, I do the first two away from my face and then this one, I would do it towards my face like this. This is the one that is towards my face. And you know, some people, after they curl their hair, they kind of take it and scrunch it like this for a few seconds to hold the curl. I don't. Um, just when I'm done with one side, I kind of just spray it down with hairspray, let it sit, do the other side, do the same thing. And then I usually do my hair first. I mean, I'm sorry, I usually do my makeup first. No scratch that. I usually do my hair first and then let it sit, let the curls cool down, all that, do my makeup, and then I come back to my hair. But I obviously have my makeup done now. So um, they're just going to be a little bit looser curls today, but that's all right. I'm just showing you guys this for, um, you know, if you want to curl your hair in the future or whatever. So I'm going to just speed it up now and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with the first side. So kind of just looks like this. And then that's where I spray it with my hairspray. I use Aussie hairspray. Um, it works good, but mainly just for the smell. I'm obsessed with the smell. I have um, shampoo, conditioner, hairspray and um, leave-in conditioner. I use only Aussie, no well, not only Aussie, um, just mainly Aussie products. So um, yeah, you kind of just spray it like this. And then just let them sit. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl the other side and I'll talk to you guys in a minute.
So I am done with the other side. I'm gonna spray it down. So this is what the curls look when they're all just tightened up and I haven't played with them yet. this side first while this side cools down and all that <laughs> okay so um, first thing I do is kind of just scrunch them up like this just to kind of soften the hairspray if it did become a little bit of crunchy um, so yeah I kind of just go like this and then that's when I kind of just start fluffing it up like this and kind of running my nails through it. So you want to keep the curls intact, but um, like don't separate them too much. Like pick at them like this. Kind of just lightly run your fingers through it and I like this side but sometimes right here it gets a little weird um, so this is more of my favorite side uh, but this is so cute I like this and then throughout the day the curls will fall and they'll get loose um, so it won't be so much right here they'll get longer they'll end up like down here which i like um so that's this side kind of just you know scrunch them up a little bit more at the bottom play with the bangs a little bit see i like how this part this strand sticks out a lot i like that when it shows and then once it's like when you're once you're done fluffing it and playing with it fixing it how you like it I spray it slightly one more time like that so I'll do the other side for you guys side for everything kind of just works out better like I like my makeup on the right side better um, probably because I'm right-handed but just would like to get it the way I want on both sides <laughs> if I could um, I don't know I'm kind of actually liking this side better today of course because I'm filming a video <laughs> Uh, now you kind of just play with it a little bit more. Um, I play with it throughout the day and kind of just fix it to my liking. I like really big, voluminous type of hair, like you're walking on a runway and you're, the wind's blowing. Okay, I might be doing too much, but um, yeah, I always like that type of hair. Uh, always growing up when I did my natural curls, it would be really huge. People would call me um, like a lion because my hair was like streaked with blonde and be really big and curly. But yeah, I just always liked really big hair. That's just been me. So I'm liking this side more. Um, I think I just need some more volume up here. Spray it down. Mm. 
and yeah. So this is how I get my curls to look like this with a 32 millimeter wand curler that I got from TJ Maxx. No, this is not sponsored, but that would be really awesome if it was. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Please let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see me crimp my hair or um, maybe do a different style with my wig. Um, so I'm going to tell you this just straight out forward because, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> um, I'm going through the process of dyeing my roots of my real hair and it kind of got a little bit hectic and I kind of have to slow it down. So that is the reason why I'm wearing my wigs probably for the next week or so. And that's why you're seeing these wig videos. I know most people want to see my natural hair, but it's crazy looking right now. So got to give it some time, some treatments, let it chill out for a little bit. And that's the reason why you're not seeing natural hair videos. Um, we will get to that if you guys would like to see that. Anyways, you can follow me on my socials at Nicole, of course, on Instagram and on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and there will be more to come. I will see you guys in the next one. I love everybody. I love you, 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 and you. Bye, dolls.